So, ladies and gentlemen, this is very frequently asked me when they are doing synastry in the West or in India, they are doing this Kundli Milan for marriage and relationships. Which is the most, oops, which is the most important planet which we should uh, see when we are doing synastry? This is a very uh, wrong approach to synastry because the problem with this is you believe that this person is just one planet and nobody else okay so therefore you will end up in a disaster most of the times 99 percent of the times when you are doing synastry and i'm not talking of gun milan here gun milan is totally different it has nothing to do with synastry okay so keep aside that 36 point criteria as of now keep it aside but it's very crucial when you are doing synastry you look at the overall horoscope of both okay but even before that it is more important that you look at your own horoscope first if you are really 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 wanting to know the synastry you have to look at your chart first and then you look at the other person's chart and the third step is you do synastry if you are not looking at your chart if you're not looking at his or her chart and then you are directly going on doing synastry. Oh, this planet is here. That planet is there. Okay, in my chart, this planet has been, uh, I have Venus here. In that person's chart, Venus is there. Is it in trines to each other? It is in Kendra. It's in Dustan. It's in where? Or is it in 6, 8, 12 from my Venus sign wise? Where is it? Okay. So, therefore, please do not do this. This is criminal actually because you will miss the entire picture. I'll tell you why. Because first, when you look at your chart, then you should be able to identify where is your horoscope flowing. Many times people say that, will we be a good team or a partnership? Will we be in a good partnership or can we be in? But for that, you have to identify where is your life journey going within within your horoscope, your upcoming dashas. And then you look at that person. Where is this person's upcoming dashas taking him, this person to? Because we are not just living like a dead horoscope. Our life is changing dynamically depend on the change of focus, which changes depending on the dashas. Okay. So therefore, as I always say, the horoscope tells you who you are. The dasha tells you where you focus. Many times people say, oh, his dasha changed, uh, she changed, he changed totally. No, the person doesn't change when a dasha changes. The person's focus changes, always remember. So therefore, you have to get an idea of the upcoming two or three Mahadashas of both of their lives. Because if you talk of two, three Mahadashas, then roughly you can say like 20, 30 years will be consumed within that. Okay. Three Mahadashas at least. 20, 30, it could be more also. 40, maybe more also. So, once you are aware of that, then you should go and do synastry because that will tell you these, these uh, things. Your horoscope, where are you going and where is that person going? So, when you know that, then you can actually sit and figure out, okay, how is the synastry happening? Now, when I say where you are going, and where he or she is going. I don't mean to say you are going to settle in uh, one country, okay, and that person will settle in another country. So, okay, it's not matching, right? No, I'm not talking of externally where your lives are going. Externally, it may be different, but you have to be able to, you must be able to identify uh, when, uh, when you are looking at the charts is where is your mind going? Where are you flowing mentally? Where are you likely to put your energies? What kind of energies are you likely to attract? It can be good. It can be bad. It can be in any area of life. So when you know that, then even if externally you both are far, you are separated, you are staying in different countries or you are staying in a different place, you will somehow be connected. Nowadays, you know, there's mobile and so many other things. But what I'm trying to tell you is, if that is there, 
the internal harmony is there then externally the re- relationship will manifest but if there is disharmony in the inside which means your thought process is in a particular way and that person's thought process is totally different the mentality is not matching so then what happens if you try to do synastry then you will feel that you are uh, you are being forced to make a lot of compromises in your life or you are being forced to do things which you don't like or which you think is not good or which you think is not necessary which you do not prioritize in fact recently uh, some time back when i had done a consultation there was this person from us uh, he told me that sir this is my horoscope okay and i have this uh, lady's chart and we know each other but i have some apprehensions uh, i'm not very sure should i go ahead with this lady from the interactions but i still think there are some possibilities but i want to know if you can help us to uh, do the synastry so then what happened i looked at this person's chart and the issue was the main uh, reason why this person was not confident going ahead with this girl this lady was because for this person it was very 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 important that you take care of your health this person is also into you know health care industry and uh, person is into yoga fitness you know meditation and eating a uh, vegetarian food uh, this person left alcohol meat and so many other things and has a very sattvic lifestyle and uh, yeah doesn't like to party or take alcohol and all this okay so this was his value system and the upcoming dashas also indicated this value system will continue in his chart now when it came to the to the lady uh, she had a very big friend circle with whom she used to uh, almost every other third day you know twice thrice in a week she would take alcohol and uh, she would just uh, uh, take meat and she would sleep at 5 am you know get up at 11 am and uh, it was not matching with his lifestyle so then what happened this person told me that this is something which i am feeling very difficult because when i get up he goes to sleep <laughs> and when we sit together to eat something then we can't eat because i am eating vegetarian and she feels that oh why are you not eating meat and i feel why is she not eating a vegetarian food what's so bad about uh, being a vegetarian and she feels what's so bad about being a meat eater so and then i checked her dashas in her upcoming 2 3 mahadashas it was indicating that she would continue to be like this okay there would be no change in her value system uh, inherently she would be the same so then i told this person that if you decide to go ahead with this person then you will have to be ready to uh, face these things in the upcoming 30 40 years because she will be the way she is at least in that that area of life so now it is up to you if you want to if you can live with that person happily with all these traits because these are the things which the upcoming mahadasha has indicated and then uh he said uh, okay uh, what does synastry say and all this then we did some synastry and uh, but as i said this is the first step okay is your thought process is does your value system your mindset what you value in life what do you think is good bad what do you think is right wrong what, what do you think is important and what do you think is less important does these things match okay that you should be able to identify from both the horoscopes once you do that then you can see synastry and there were a lot of issues with this which this couple was facing you know this person he would like to sit in uh, his uh, home and chant lot of mantras and you know do lot of spiritual practices yagyas homas and uh, so many other things like brahmins do generally but uh, this lady was uh, not uh, like him she had other priorities you know she said you know i would like to travel the world i like to see this place europe america and all this nothing wrong with that but it was somehow not matching so then i told him that if you get married you have to be ready for all this all right and then of course after some time he told me that uh it was not working out and uh, he decided to not go ahead with this lady anyways and she was also uh, she also understood that our lifestyles are totally different so we we can't pretend to like each other and stay if our lifestyles are so totally different so now this is an example where uh synastry if if they would have just done synastry 
it would have ended in a disaster okay so therefore you can do all this you know matching of planets putting here there where are these planets here there all these things you can do but the most important thing is your chart and your upcoming dashas if that is done correctly 90% of the work is done synastry is barely 10% if your mentality or thought process matches compatibility may be there or may not be there you know you you may like to eat something like you may like to eat potato she might like to eat something different okay but that doesn't match but if there is a fundamental difference in the value system that you feel that okay i should not kill animals i'm a vegetarian that's not good and then the other party your spouse feels that no it's okay to kill animals it's okay fine uh, animals are made by god for us to eat okay if that's their value system now what is right or wrong morally i am not going to that 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 for that we refer to the scriptures but i am just talking of human behavior here okay of course there's nothing right there's no justification of it you mean but i'm what i'm trying to tell you here is even if that is right or that is wrong that's still a difference okay and generally always remember people do not change people never change okay so if you are feeling that there is a deep sense of uh, disconnect at the level of uh, your habits or behavior or value system or thought process then the worst thing to do is you can do synastry and convince yourself okay my venus is here i like to talk she likes to talk you know so maybe we can both stay together okay so that's the worst thing to do so please do not do that all right check your charts individually and then do synastry all right thank you very much for your patience if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and you will find consultation link from my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him